Hello, good day to everyone. Welcome to the another episode on workflow and tips. In this week's uh, workflow and tips web episode, I am going to discuss on how do we go and create an interface file for the CA structure analysis via Moreflow. There has been several requests on how do we go about and create the interface files. Today I am going to focus on a shell mesh which is also called as a midplane mesh and I am going to create an interface file for the Abacus 6.3 and above. There are multiple ways to create an interface file. One of it is using a classical method. When I say classical method is like using a script. You would have heard that there are multiple scripts available in the command folder and there are few scripts for creating the interface file. One of it is like MPI to Abacus. Now this supports only for the 3D mesh. There is a request that how do I go and create an interface file for the shell mesh and that's what I'm going to demonstrate now. I have an actually a shell mesh model, a simple dustpan. I have run in fill and flow and fill flow or we call as a pack and warp analysis. We need to have a fiber fill material. So in this case, I have selected a generic PP with 30% glass filled. Prop, uh, filled. Okay. And uh, I, as you can see that I have completed the analysis, but you need to do few of the settings before you start the analysis so that you create an interface file. So go into the process setting in advanced option in solver parameter edit. You should able to see an interface tab. So in mesh model only interface create yes by default it would be no. In Abacus option, you have an actually a three options to create it. Now all of these three options are for various output. So if you need more information on what these three various output options are, I would recommend go into the knowledge.autodesk.com and search for the Abacus interface midplane. So you'll get more information. But for today's session, since it is a short session, I'm going to go ahead with creating a AMI Abacus 6.3 or newer. Hit OK. And probably if you are looking for the other CA codes, there is an option to create the interface file as well. Hit OK and next. And probably you need to isolate the cause of warpage if it is OK when you are doing small deflection analysis and you probably want to go for the all stress output as well. But this is not a mandatory. Finish as you can see that I have completed the analysis and in warp I can get an additional results on to the worn masses stresses or we call it as an masses hunky warp stresses. If probably you want to see the stresses developed uh, during the molding process. Now what's the out uh, what's the procedure for creating the interface file? First and foremost, we are going to create a mesh file. So export this model as a pattern file. You can see there is an option of pattern file which will export these as the like in this case, I am going to create an interface file mesh. So this for a pattern file have the information on to the element data and topology data. So you can save it. And how to go about checking on to the material data and initial stress. Once you are into the project folder, like in this case, I am into the project folder, you should look for the file called OSP. Okay. So this is an important file. So 
if you cli try to click and open with notepad you'll see a lot of information including the material data as well in this and in initial stress data as well which can be used it for the uh, abacus run i know abacus won't for, uh, take this file as it is because it has an like an uh, iphone over here so probably you have to go ahead and change the name as that of the pattern file that's make uh, a little bit easier for abacus to understand and when you try to import both this pattern file and OSP file in the Abacus, uh, a new file will be created like it is shown over here. Uh, uh, Abacus interface for Moleflow reads the interface file and create the following file like Abacus input file and neutral dot SHF file and initial stress file dot STR. So this will be created once you start importing the this pattern file and dot osp file so that's what i recommend you to go through these two earlier methods what these comprise of and look at the what you are looking uh, in the output so give a try uh, if you are an abacus user moleflow user and you want to create an interface by particularly for the shell mesh or a mid plane mesh this is an procedure over here if you go with the if you go with the um, command prompt and running the script probably it would be helpful only for the 3d mesh thank you for your time